One second. Astronauts, uh, tennis players, uh, football stars, celebrities. Uh, actually, that's all we all would like to become as children. But, however, reality is different. Not all childhood dreams come true. But, luckily, we have Reface. Reface can embrace multiple roles in a single lifetime. Uh, we found Reface to help everybody be anyone. And we started as a company to help everybody re realize themselves in the digital world. So now I'm happy to tell you how we're going to make our next move in the world of human self-expression and self-realization. Uh, I'm Dima. I wanted to become a tennis player, but I'm standing here as a tech entrepreneur at Slash, and I'm happy to share our story. But a few words about Reface. We are the world's most famous space swapping app with more than 250 million downloads. And more than 6 billion of pieces of content has been created with us to help everybody to express themselves and to show how their content creation can evolve. But we started the company in 2019. And in 2019, everybody perceived and dismissed what we are doing as a toy, a funny entertainment app with AI as its core. But back then, in reality, there were like two crucial things that we envisioned as a future upcoming game-changing trend. Generative AI is already here. It is shaping the evolution of content creation. It's helping us to revolutionize content creation tools. Now you can create any content super easily fast. You can take any piece of content, cut down any background, generate a new one with AI, change it. And after that, you can actually create text to image with AI as well. It's never been so easy to create the content as nowadays. What is important that currently you can become a creator with zero skills and having only a creative spark of idea. What exciting time to be. So it's obvious for me that the next web paradigm is AI-powered web, and we're here to stay. Another direction which we believe and believe is like a digital world and 3D environments are inevitably to come. Every second keynote speaker now and keynote is about metaverse, and this is for a reason, because while metaverse is still in its early days and people playing like with this as early adopters, we are thinking in reface what's next. Do people want to be cartoonish or do they want to be uh, hyper real? Do they want to be even better than themselves? How we can help them have so many great creation AI tools in 2D and then in 3D? That's actually how uh, we started developing our new technology. In 2022, we started to thinking about and exploring about, about future breakthrough ML technology that came after face swap and will definitely change how people interact. And um, that's how MetaHead was born. MetaHead is end-to-end -end rendering pipeline which enables 3D representation from 2D objects while keeping hyper-realistic level of details, keeping cutting computation costs really low. Oh, sorry, one second. OK. But could you imagine how people actually created the content and transferred the 3D objects into metaverses and 3D environments before? You actually need a lot of stuff. You need to create and have really specific machines, GPU, to 
get this data and scan it. You need to have specialists who understand how to do it. You need hours of time to actually render this scanned data. And last, you need a powerful PC to portray all these objects into Metaverse. Could you imagine that Reface now can replace this pipeline, made it possible to render such tough objects and super realistic ones as people, humans' faces, with low computation costs, maintaining the same speed, and having hyper-realistic level of details. And it's a pretty challenging task, I might confess. But we raised the bar so high. Let's speak about MetaHead a little bit more. How we do it? So you can get a really vivid 3D representation of your head and face. And what's next? You can actually have it by having several selfies. But the most exciting part that you can have it rendering using pixel shaders. That means and rendering at 60 frames per second in real time on any device you have, mobile phone, headset, or even PC. Incredible. And our perception that human face is one of the most unique objects in the world because it has so many tiny details to show wrinkles, lips, skin textures. And what we're actually doing, we can take all these tiny details, recreate into textures, and help create the specific representation that can be used in multiple sources, that can be then used in different industries. And after that happens next magic. Rim, really important that all these textures are actually taken, extracted from vectors from a single selfie. That means that you can create real-time, super detailed skin textures in 8K. Could you imagine that you can actually do it without any specific stuff, without any applied and knowings and findings in 3D? And you can do it by just clicking on your phone. OK, already we have this 3D representation, which is pretty unique, which can change how people communicate in the digital world, how can they actually work in different environments, relating gaming, communications, different industries. But what if, if we have these highly detailed textures, we can then express them, we can actually take emotions. Because we cannot have our real identity in the digital world, hyper-real one, without actually having real emotions. So now when we understand how the model works, how the light changes, how it scatters, how, we ch how actually our model aligns to different parameters change and different environments change, we can, add, we can actually transfer express, expressions and emotions and to make it work. But it's really short part, but really important. When we did reface in 2D and voice swap, we actually did it so tiny and elegant that we can process millions of face swaps and made it on the fly on iPhone. The same we did in 3D. Now we can create 3D rendering, doing it really fast, easy, and computationally low. One of the most important parts that we created reface with a maximum interoperability. We are not going to compete with such companies as, and products as MetaHuman, as uh, Metas Avatars, or other avatar-created agents. We created that way that you can take the 3D representation and mesh, play it in different environments, in Unity, Unreal, actually Blender, etc. But the main reason you can do it everywhere. You can be, nowadays, you can be everybody and you can actually become a tennis player without a tennis racket. You can do everything you do in 2D. You can go to, you can be an astronaut without being like applying to the NASA program. But the main important part is that we are happy if you can join us on this journey 
of MetaHead. And we believe that the future of AI content and uh, content creation is expiring, inspiring, and we'll be happy to make it together. Thank you. Slava Ukraini.